Finally, right? What has taken me so long? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. We have an Aldi haul for you guys. If you are new, Aldi is out of the way for us. They are building one close to us, but it's not ready yet. And I've been delaying coming here, right? Every week, y'all watch the grocery hauls. I'm like, I'm going to Aldi next week. And I never do, but I'm here today. I will say it looks absolutely packed so that worries me because I like to go in there and peruse the aisles and show you guys all the new stuff which I'm going to do there's I'm not afraid there's no shame in my game when it comes to filming but I want to be able to have some space it is kind of tight quarters in there I am here to stock up on the essentials that are million dollar at Walmart and just get the things I know that we use and will last so I don't have to keep spending the extra money at Walmart so let's get in there and see what's new we haven't been in here in forever Y'all, it is so crowded in here. I couldn't talk about the registers. This is what I came in here for. $3.99 mums. Are you kidding me? I am totally getting some of these. These fabric pumpkins are really pretty and nice size for $4.99. And then they have these LED candle sets. They're on clearance for $9.99. And they've got like the fall pattern on there. Super cute. This really nice wooden serving tray with dip bowl set for $18.99 super heavy duty. Heard a lot of hype on Instagram about these three pack fridge liners. Y'all let me know if you've tried them and if they're any good. They're just $4.99. That's a great price. They've had these rugs for a while. They're 24 by 60 inches. They're on clearance half price for $6.49. I just grabbed the orange one for Saint, my French bulldog. If you know on Instagram, you know. So a lot of y'all have been asking where I've been getting the pumpkin spice Cheerios. I got mine from Sam's Club, but they do have them here at Aldi for $3.98. I legit have never seen it this crowded in here, y'all. It is insane. They have the chocolate frosted flakes and the strawberry milkshake on clearance for $1.25. Like what? And then Halloween Fruity Pebbles. I've put it in and out of my cart three times for the boys. It's $3.24. I just think that's extreme and Fruity Pebbles are the worst, but they love them. This is a killer deal. Y'all know this is my favorite time of year and how freaking cute are these coffees? Raven's Roast and Sleepy Hollow Blend. Like what? Those are $4.99, and then they have a cappuccino pumpkin spice and hot cocoa pumpkin spice, and those are $5.79. Oh my gosh. They have the Halloween fruit strips and strawberry and wildberry variety pack. You get $40 for $9.49, and the pumpkin quick bread is $1.99. I already bought the boys one like this, but they have a chocolate haunted house cookie kit. It is $7.99, so cute. And they have the Day of the Dead cookies, $5.99. Milk chocolate toffee pretzels. That sounds delicious. $2.99 a bag, 130 calories for three pretzels. Y'all know I'm a big fan of balsamic glaze. They have this strawberry balsamic glaze. Um, same calories as the one I usually use, 35 calories, $3.49, and then they have just a regular one. So if you've been looking for them, I know they're hard to find here at Aldi. They do have the pumpkin spice coffee finally, $4.69. Y'all remember the fun cheeses I showed you before. Now they have Halloween ones for $4.29. Bat knit crazy cheddar, freaky franken sage derby, pumpkin spice, Winsoladale cheese, don't even ask me to say that, and then Transylvanian hard cheese aged in a spine chilling Romanian salt cave, and then soaked in red wine. They also have this cranberry sage chicken sausage. They look bomb for 90 calories a link. They are $3.79. There's also a chicken uh, apple harvest one as well. They don't have it. All they have is this cranberry sage one. It looks good though. They have this pulled chicken with three pepper sauce, slow cooked in a jalapeno, cayenne, and chipotle pepper sauce. It is 70 calories for two ounces and six grams of protein. Let me know if y'all have tried that. They've got all the different flavors of butter by Land Lake, cinnamon sugar, honey, and pumpkin pie spice for $2.47. Whew, the damage is done, y'all. This might be the most expensive Aldi haul yet. But dang, we got a lot of extra things we necessarily didn't need, but we got a lot of essentials too. Goodness me, y'all, $190 Aldi haul. But a lot of this is not even like food related. It's specialty items, and I'm not bad, mad about it. 
but I don't plan on going to Aldi again until the new one opens by my house just because a lot of things have went up at Aldi and for me it's not worth the drive because it's just pennies difference from Walmart right now which is crazy some things definitely but a lot has gone up and until the Aldi gets opened by my house, it just doesn't make sense for us to make the big drive unless we're doing like a big stock up like this. So let me show you what we picked up today for $190. I've seen everybody on Instagram flaunt these. I am a sucker for apple anything, pumpkin anything, and then throw oatmeal into the mix and you've got me. I'm a sucker. These look so good oh my gosh bake shop apple oatmeal cookies they also had i think pumpkin spice oatmeal cookies which looked awesome too they're 150 calories for one freaking cookie but you know what your girl's gonna track it and we're doing the damn thing but i thought that the hubs y'all know he loves oatmeal cookies i didn't get the ice ones i got this instead it's almost four dollars though so a little bit pricey but it's a specialty thing and it's the season my favorite time also i saw these maple french toast bagels what like forget the pumpkin right now all the things maple i've tried the thomas muffins which by the way i can't find anymore anywhere at any of the walmarts they're gone they were so good i have high hopes for these they're 280 calories for a bagel but what i like to do is split it in half put egg whites on top put a sausage patty drizzle with some sugar-free syrup or some american dream nut butter and call it a day and it's delicious and high protein breakfast options. I got those for me. The garlic knots were a few cents more than the ones from Walmart, but since I was there, I just went ahead and picked it up. I am gonna have to run into Walmart for a couple of things, so you'll see that next, but I just went ahead and threw it. It was just in case they didn't have the ones at Walmart, but these are also 120 calories, just like the market side ones. They did not have my beloved fit and active bread. I know, I was so bummed, because when I go, I get like two loaves at a time, and we are down to half a loaf, that's not good. I haven't been eating a lot of bread though, honestly, like sliced bread, so I wasn't mad. So I just got the boys to tie them over some regular old classic white bread, 70 calories a slice, and it was 98 cents for the loaf, so that was awesome, and it looks really nice. And then we are doing the bacon burgers by Elise Ellis again. I had those a couple weeks ago, they were so good. We're having them on plan again. I was gonna get the buns I've been getting at Walmart. These were a couple more cents expensive than Walmart, so I'm telling you. Man, it's crazy. But these look really soft and they look really good. Y'all let me know if you've tried their brioche buns. I see everybody haul them all the time. These are 160 calories a bun. The ones I've been getting are 170, so it shaves a little bit off and they look nice and fresh. I'm excited to try those out. I did get some eggs. They were cheaper to get the 12 pack than at Walmart right now. And we are doing a lot of baking. It's the time of the year. And we usually don't eat a lot of eggs by themselves right now, but I need them for a lot of recipes and baking. So I got two of those to stick in the fridge. Also got just a head of lettuce for the burgers instead of doing romaine. Romaine has gone up like crazy. It was over $3 at Aldi, and I think it's like almost $4 at Walmart. So I just got this, and I think it was like, uh, prices are popping up, you're seeing, I don't know, but more than I remember iceberg lettuce bean. Their blackberries were on sale for I think $1.99 each, and they look really good. Trey is obsessed with blackberries and that's going to fit like our Halloween lunch boxes. So that's the only fruit option I got. They didn't have much fruit at all. It's like apple season and stuff. And we honestly still have a lot of apples left from the last time we went to Aldi, but they had a good deal on the Honeycrisp one. So be on the lookout if you love Honeycrisp. We love this ready to bake pizza dough. I still have one from last time I went in the freezer, but being that I don't plan on going, I'm just getting things that I know I can only find at Aldi and sticking them away. So I got two of those for the boys to make pizza. Speaking of the same, thing sticking it away i got how many six i got six blocks of the third less fat cream cheese lots of stuff i'm making honestly for dinners and then like specialty stuff are calling for it so i'm gonna fly through it and it is about the same regular price as walmart but they were on sale this week so that's went ahead and stocked up i got the one from target you guys saw the pumpkin spice whipped cream and it is fire it is so good and i put it on my coffee every single morning just one serving but i figured i need to go ahead and get the aldi one because it's much cheaper than the target one and the target one's always out of stock and i'm going to be drinking pumpkin spice up until like december i love it so much so that is my backup for that and then I got egg white wasted. You know, the ones at Walmart, I complain they're 415. These are 365. The date looked awesome, November. So I went ahead and got five of them. That should tide me over for it a little bit. You know, I go through them a lot. I did get a big thing of butter. It was much cheaper at Aldi than it was at Walmart. I mean, butter is like crazy, but that is strictly for baking. 
Got a big thing of the non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm loving that as a sour cream substitute and a lot of baking and things I use it for. So went ahead and got it. I did get Trey a bunch of their non-fat Greek yogurts. They're super cheap. Two of the strawberry, two of the tropical fruit, two of the blueberry. And then I had to get, I've seen everybody haul them. I was wondering if they were going to have them. The pumpkin pie and the maple. They also had the apple cinnamon, but I love the light and fit apple one so much. I don't need to try it for like the extra calories and stuff. This one's the maple. It is 100 140 calories and 12 grams of protein so they're higher in calorie guys and this one's 130 and 12 grams of protein but your girl's definitely gonna try it and indulge got an english cucumber for dipping in all my favorite dips and hummuses y'all know again something i've seen everybody flaunt on instagram are these bakehouse sea salt caramel chocolate chunk cookie dough apparently they had these last year y'all know i'm new to aldi this year they're 160 calories a cookie like dang but I'm definitely going to partake in one. Everybody's raving about how good they are. So I got two. They're like the shelf date on them is the end of November. So I thought that'd be good for the fall for fun stuff. I did get two packages of extra lean ground beef. I didn't get chicken. Chicken's going to be on sale at Rouse's. You hopefully will see that in this haul for $1.99 a pound. It's still $2.49 at Aldi, which is cheaper than Walmart. But I'm going to try to score at Rouse's. Their ground beef, though, however, is more uh, expensive than Walmart. If you buy the two pound at Walmart, it's cheaper per pound. If you buy the one pound, all these cheaper than the one pounds at Walmart. I know, crazy. You got to look at all, all the numbers is too much. So I did get two packages. Each of these were like 743, 737. I'm actually going to bust in this for lunch and make a like Big Mac burger bowl. It's going to be so good. And then I got two packages of cinnamon rolls for the boys for weekends. This stuff, when I buy it at Aldi and twos like this, lasts forever because they don't eat that every weekend. Two packages of the biscuits. They love those. Two of the Moo Tubes low fat yogurts. They only had the blueberry and the strawberry strawberry today. They love those for lunches. I got cheese wasted just to go ahead and get it. We are using a lot of cheese for dinner recipes and the boys use mozzarella like crazy because they eat pizza themed something all the things. So I got two blocks of the mozzarella. These are just a buck 99 each so it's a no brainer. Two of the regular sharp cheddar. For me right now at maintenance calories, a little extra calories in the dinner is not going to make a huge difference. So I'd rather get the regular one and it's cheaper. And I meant to pick up two Monterey Jack, but I accidentally picked up a Pepper Jack, but it's okay. Loving Monterey Jack so, so much. It's hard to find here at any of my stores and it's so good for Taco Tuesday. Did get three of the turkey pepperonis. This is primarily for a tray. Again, they eat pizza themed everything. I'm down to one pack because remember I got wasted last time. So I went ahead and got wasted again because they eat it and fly through it. Got an organic marinara pasta sauce. They didn't have the tomato and basil one that I like so much. I dug and dug. All they had was this. Somebody like cleared it out. So I just got one of those for their pizza stuff. I am down to my last chicken broth. I have a bunch of the kettle and fire is the one I really like. But we're going to give this organic chicken broth one from Aldi a try and see if we like it. The macros are the same and the price was really good. And I don't want to be without a lot of soup stuff we're making right now. Soup season. Pump Pumpkin, 100% pure. It was like a buck 29, same macros as the one that I've been buying. And again, making all things pumpkin. Can never have enough pumpkin. So I got that to stick in the pantry. Y'all saw me buy the brown gravy last week at Walmart. These are just 43 cents. It's like half the price in Walmart. So I picked up two to go in the pantry for recipes. Uh, when's the last time you see me buy real powdered sugar? I don't even know, years, but I got a package of it because I'm making Elise Ellis's protein pumpkin roll. She just posted that on her Instagram and it looks so good. And I've already plugged it into my first form app and made a custom recipe and the macros and the calories are so freaking fire with using real sugar. Thank you, Elise. So we'll see how that turns out. Got a bunch of canned fruit because it's much cheaper than fresh and fresh is not available in some of these things. Two of the mandarin oranges and light syrup for the boys for lunch boxes. It fits our Halloween theme right now too. Same thing with the peach slices and 100% juice. And then y'all, I got this for me. Fried apples with cinnamon. What? Y'all know I love the protein waffles and I put the American Dream caramel apple nut butter on top. And then I usually use the sugar-free ones from Walmart. But these are 75 calories for 140 grams. I usually do 100 grams of the Walmart one and it's not much more calorie. And I don't have to add all the extra stuff to sweeten them up. We're going to give these a try. Stay tuned. I'll let you know about that. They look awesome. Got three of the water enhancers for the boys. These are the ones that are all natural. Black cherry, lemonade, and tropical punch is what we got today. I have been on the hunt for these stupid Oreo spooky Halloween design cookies. 
for weeks. None of my Walmarts have them, Target. I can't find them anywhere. Usually these things are like everywhere in your face and they're like obnoxious. Now that I need them or want them, I can't find them. I found them today at Aldi. They were so expensive though for this, like so crazy. But that is for themed lunch boxes. And then also for like just the season, I thought these double chocolate premium brownies looked really good and they were super cheap than what I just paid at Walmart. Same thing with the cake mix. All the Aldi cake mix is 98 cents. So I got a devil's food and a yellow. I have some white from Aldi still on hand just to put in the pantry for all the occasions coming up. Easy peasy. Saw these cinnamon churros crispy sweet treat uh, twists. They look so good. I get a, it's a super small bag, but it's pretty filled to the top. It's 120 calories for 28 grams. Your girl's trying those out, but I know the boys are probably gonna steal those from me. Y'all told me when I hauled the ones from Sam's Club, the apple straws, y'all told me that the all the ones are hands down a million percent better. I tried the ones from Sam's. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was not impressed with them either. And now I have a big old bag, so we're gonna have to give them to somebody. But I'm gonna try these and let you know what I think as far as a comparison. Same macros as the ones from Sam's Club. Then non-food stuff, y'all. Like we had so many fun things. I could have went crazy. I refrain. It is bus driver appreciation week next week. And I plan on giving, I always treat my bus drivers like on all occasions, but definitely for bus driver appreciation week. And I got them these cute Halloween candles. This one says, hey, beautiful. I mean, how stinking cute. If you've got it, haunt it i mean yes please and then they had a monster mash one but it did not smell good at all these smell decent they're not the best but i bought them primarily for the damn label and for gifts so freaking cute they had these rugs i think i showed you in store i've had my eye on them since they've been out they are huge when i i mean they are like a big accent runner they are super long i only paid 6.99 for this it was originally 12.99 so it was half price and saint as you guys can see he loves this freaking Halloween rug. So I figured when Halloween's over, I can put this orange one out and he won't be mad. But I, I kind of didn't think about the tassels. He is a tassel chewer. And that's going to be gone. But it's okay. For $6.99, I don't mind. Their pumpkins were $3.99. So expensive at Walmart. It's like half the price. And the boys are probably going to carve these when we go to my sister's. But I'm going to put them outside for the time being. Super cute and such a great deal. And the mums, like I showed you, I was so excited they had them. It looks like they just got them. They're like so uh, watered and all like fresh and ready to go. They did not have orange though. I wanted orange, but they still had the purple and they had yellow. So I got two more purple. I already have two purple outside, but these look so nice for $3.99. I paid more than $3.99 for the other ones I got. I'm just saying. So that is everything we got for our Aldi haul. $190, I know, but it's a lot of like stock up things as you guys can see. And we're gonna head to Walmart. Sam's Club, Rouse's. Sam's Club pickup, Rouse's running was a success. Happy about Rouse's. And then Walmart, $27. $27 at Walmart. I mean, it's killing me. Oh my gosh. I got some of the Carb Counter Street Tacos. These are for Trey, but we love these. They're just 20 calories a piece and they're so stinking good. I could not get strawberries in any of my pickups. I know they're not in season, but these actually look really good. And I have something fun I'm going to be doing for the Halloween lunch boxes. And even if not, we love freaking strawberries. Got some bananas. I am going to eat some post-workout. And then Waylon occasionally has been wanting them. We finally ran out of the pimento cheese from Sam's Club. And it shows up on the app, but it won't let me order it. And I didn't want to have to go in store. So I paid them. Oh my gosh, this was like $8 for this size. The one at Walmart, I think is our Sam's Club is 24 ounces and it was less than $8 for sure. So I need to go in store and like just stock up on the stuff, but it did last us a long time. That is primarily just for Trey. And then I didn't realize that I needed a lot of ground meat for what I have on meal plan next week, but this was actually cheaper. Like I said, it's like five something a pound. If you buy the big one at Walmart, it's $6 and something at Aldi for the one pound. So I really should have waited, but it is what it is. I actually needed the ground meat yesterday and I didn't have any on hand. So I did pick up a two and a quarter pounder of the extra lean ground beef. So y'all, $27, $28 at Walmart. From Rouse's, we spent $50, but we got a lot of protein. So I'm not mad about it. So the first thing, yeah, what is little Debbie doing in our household? What is she doing here? Y'all know, I like the little Debbie never enters this house. I have a thing about 
hating little Debbie from, you know, my overweight days, but there was a really cute TikTok for the boys breakfasts and uh, is that a word breakfasts, but I'm going to make it. So it was on sale too. So thanks little Debbie saving your girl some coin, but not our waistline. Remember it's all about fun right now and not macros for them for sure. I needed some cottage cheese and I've been wanting the 1%. I can only find 1% usually at Target. They didn't have any at Aldi and uh, they didn't have any at Walmart. So I got the 1% cottage cheese from Rouse's. That's going to be for lunches next week. Their tuna was on sale for 77 cents a can. That is freaking damn cheap. And I was all about it. If you're looking for something that is high protein, I get that question a million times. I have a whole playlist on high protein options for breakfast, lunch, all the things. It's 100 calories and what is it like 22, 24 grams of protein? Yummy. Y'all, steak. Like we don't indulge on this stuff anymore since post keto because it is higher calorie, higher fat. We do go out to eat and eat it, but $19 for four New York strip steaks. They were on sale for $5.97 a pound. I could not pass up how beautiful they were. I mean, you pay plus that for one at Texas Roadhouse, right? So this will be two dinners for me and the hubs on a Saturday night where I'm like not tracking. We're going to use the Blackstone here for it. So I'm going to pop those bad boys in the freezer. They look delicious. I want one right now. And then yes, remember I mentioned they had the chicken on sale for a buck 99. I mean, it's like the frozen package, but I'll take it. It's 130 calories. So the macros and stuff were good on it. Um, I'm, I'm not mad about it. So this one was 735. I got three packages, 644 for that one and 662. I tried to get the ones that didn't have like the fat on them that looked like all chicken. I'm just going to pop these straight in the freezer as is and then like thaw it and then I'll divide it up since it's already frozen. So that's everything we got at our little Rouse's running mainly for proteins. I mean, look at all the protein besides Debbie over there. And then from Sam's Club, y'all, this was like right under a hundred bucks. Can you believe it? The bacon, I don't even want to talk about it. I got some lunch meat because it is cheaper over at Sam's. It's expensive, but it's cheaper than anywhere else. The uncured black forest ham we love. And I got this primarily for Waylon. He likes taking that for like Lunchables for school. And then I don't know what has been going on, but I've been craving some roast beef. I'm like, damn, roast beef would be good up in this house right now. And I mean, I haven't had roast beef in a hot second, but this is definitely a good deal. It's so expensive everywhere else. And the macros on it are 70 calories and 12 grams of protein here for it. So I'm going to do something with that. Probably freeze half of it because I don't want it to go to waste. But the bacon, y'all remember, I didn't haul this not long ago. My family, everybody, including myself, loves this bacon. Last time I bought it, I think I told you guys it was like $17 and some change. And I was complaining then. No, no. Now it's $19.98 or something, the price I just popped up. I was like, dang, when I looked at the price tag, we had to have the bacon running low. We're flying through it. And then the boys love this sparkling water by Members Mark. You get the peach nectar, black raspberry, strawberry lemonade. I got two cases because Sam's is on the other side of town, including Target, and I hate driving over there. So anything I can stock up to save me from making a trip every week, we do so. We got two of those. Flushable wipes, hashtag boys, don't come for me. We are on, down to our last pack. Again, flushable wipes and toilet paper. I've always heard like house full of girls go through all the things. No, no, house full of boys go through all the toilet paper and the wipes. We don't even have to talk about it, TMI. And then this has not been around since the last time I purchased it. It's been out of stock, out of stock. They finally got it back, but it has went up in price too. The Sprite Zero Sugar, you get 35 cans in here. Y'all know I love this stuff, but it's been so pricey in the 12 pack. This was, I believe, 13 something before when I bought it, what, a month ago? It's like $18 now. Like, oh my gosh, the prices on things are killing your girl. And you guys, I know, struggles are real. So that is what we got besides Aldi, Sam's Club, Rouse's Protein Hall, and our pitiful little one. unexpected Target drive up. So I gotten word from one of you guys that the Tyson chicken was on sale. Now they don't have the bites. There was a cartwheel for that one. My store doesn't carry it. But if you put these in your cart and you did the drive up, instead of these being like $10, they were $6.99, which is incredible. I was going to put these in my Walmart order for next week and they're $10 at Walmart. So that saved me. So this was a must. So we got Tyson wasted. Two bags of the blackened chicken breast strips. Again, $6.99. It was doing this glitch thing though. If I put multiples of these, it wasn't giving me the $6.99 price, but it did for the blackened chicken breast strips. So I was just rolling with that. We love those. And then I love the chicken breast fillets. Got one package and then the chicken breast strips I need for a lunch. So that was a no brainer. 
And then I saw this just randomly came up with their ad, the Sour Vampire Bats. So cute for the boys' lunch boxes. It was just a buck, so I threw that in. So this was just $30 for the drive up. Definitely scored because we are out of all this stuff, so we had to replenish. So that's gonna do it for this week's grocery haul to Aldi in all the places. Y'all, the construction on the one that is local to me, it is progressing rapidly. Like, I cannot wait for it to open. We are going to have a Walmart haul next week in Sam's Club. I ordered some stuff that's gonna be shipped to the house, so stay tuned for that. Make sure your notification bell is clicked. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. I'd love to have you part of the family. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope these videos help Help you with like your no to with all the groceries and all the things as far as the price is popping up and like what you can expect to find in store macros all the good things i hope y'all have an amazing day and an awesome week and we'll see you guys in the next video bye y'all